now that the bar is prepared, we can start attach, attaching the strain gauges. So the first thing to do is to use double-sided tape clean part and cover this part of the printout with it then Cut along this sideline here, and very important to try to cut straight. Then cut along this top sideline. And along here as well. Okay, this strip now needs to be prepared further by removing the cover. And I usually use a way here to keep this in place and then the strain gauging can begin. So we select four strain gauges. In this case if it's phosphor bronze use those ones FLK217 and attach the strain gauges to the double sided tape. In this case, use a little tool very careful not to touch the side of the strain gauge that will be attached to the to the bar. So what we then do, we make sure that the right hand side of the strain gauge fits with the corner of our um, tape band here like that it's done and we proceed with the remaining strain gauges. Now you've finished and all the strain gauges are attached. Now it's important to measure the distance between this edge of the paper and the center line of the strain gauge as otherwise we won't have any way left of defining where the strain gauge sits with respect to the start of the bar. Once you've done that, you can then start to attach the strain gauge. Now that you've me measured this distance, you can start with the gluing and start putting a very small amount of super glue on each of the strain gauges. And you can now start attaching the gauges. So here you can make use of this line that we prepared earlier. and you can position your strip of paper like that 
then it's very easy. You apply a little bit of pressure, tension, and start rolling it up along the line of the tape, the brown tape. Okay. Once that's done, you apply pressure. That's it.